Pacific. Okay, we represent, uh, we meet Representative Sheila Jackson Lee. She's a member of Homeland Security Committee and she chairs the panel subcommittee on transportation security and infrastructure protection. Representative Ron Paul is a Republican of Texas, member of the International Relations Committee. He was a flight surgeon in the Air Force and OBGYN in civilian life. And Ben Stein, the economist, attorney, former presidential speechwriter, columnist with Fortune magazine. Representative Lee, were you satisfied with the president's statement today, and do you think we're now or getting on top of things? Absolutely, Larry. I believe the president uh, has always been on top of this issue of securing the homeland. Uh, it is not a partisan issue. It's not a Democratic issue or Republican issue. And he stood today and indicated that we now are moving forward on some of the items that we've already done, improving our security and our screening, uh, looking to ensure that we are going after the terrorists, who want to come after us, uh, finding Al-Qaeda wherever it is, and yes, doing an inventory and an investigation on what happened and why. But I, I believe that there are several issues that we have to address. And one of them is the serious stovepiping of intelligence, communicating information that could have prevented this individual from boarding this plane, right. Flight 253. Congressman Paul, uh, does, is, this, is politics outside the door here? Well, I don't know what, that depends on your definition of politics. If you disagree, I guess it's political. <laughs> if you agree, then it isn't. But no, it, I, the answer to your first question, uh, you know, this, this statement wasn't all that satisfactory to me, sort of putting the pressure on the people. If we are just more vigilant, it seems to me that the people who had the responsibility in that embassy should have been more vigilant. You know, we're right now spending $75 billion for intelligence gathering. And, and look at what we have. We had FBI agents telling us about the pilots that were flying but not landing an airplane before 9-11. And here we have this incident. So I, I would say we come up way short, and I think there's a fundamental flaw in the system, and that is government's incapable of doing it. Everything else in this country, all the businesses and factories and hotels and everything, they're protected by the owners and by private security. But all of a sudden, if you own an airplane, you have to defend, uh, depend on the bureaucracy and $75 billion worth of intelligence gathering, and all of a sudden we're all going to be safe as long as we're alert and tell everybody what's going on. But that governments are responsible to do that then, aren't they? We can't have private industry run our security system. Governments are totally responsible. No, I, I was stunned at what uh, President Obama said today. I mean, it was as if someone had said after Pearl Harbor, okay, we all got to be vigilant against the Japanese and the Germans. It's the government's job to protect us. We're paying a fortune in tax and debt to have them do it. They're not taken seriously. They're being like bureaucrats and not really uh, just doing nine to five work and not getting the job done. Look, this is a war. We've said it over and over again. It's not a war against Islam, but it is a war against terrorists. We know a lot about them. It's not getting shared. I think you could, I'm not a stockholder of IBM, but I think you could give this job to IBM, and in about a month, they could come up with a system in which there would be little dots going off on a million different people's desks in the bureaucracy if somebody like this Nigerian guy was trying yeah. to get on an airplane. Let's well, get to work on it like we mean it. Like we right. Congresswoman Lee, you want to respond to that? I, I do. I do, frankly. Uh, we are getting to work. We have been getting to work, but there are problems. And frankly, this needs to be addressed uh, by Congress and by the administration. The stovepiping that I was suggesting is a very obvious of uh, this individual who had family members who notified our embassy in Nigeria, uh, and that information was not transmitted anywhere else into Homeland Security. It's obvious that Homeland Security should be the focal point and the key in terms of acting on any threat to the homeland. That means that the information that we received, that was a viable behavioral assessment that you could have made on this individual. He went to Yemen. He has become radicalized. His family has called. And therefore, there was a basis of acting. We don't need to talk about $75 billion. And by the way, my friends on the other side of the aisle have voted against aviation uh, security funding and also explosive uh, funding. But what the president can do added, Larry, what I would suggest that he do, is to make a recess appointment to the individual that is being held up as the TSA administrator by a Republican senator. Uh, leadership Larry. is important in this aspect. So I believe the government is responsible. Okay. I take responsibility, and Larry. we have a way to solve the problem. Larry. We don't need I got to get a break. And hold on, hold on. I got to get a break. Hold it, Ben. Ben, hold it. I got to get a break. We'll have Ben and Ron respond right after this.
Larry King Live, tomorrow night, 9 Eastern. Uh, Ron Paul, you want to respond first to the congresswoman? Yeah, and then yes, ben. I do. Yeah, Go ahead. I, I do. Uh, the one thing that is missing here is is never asking the question, what is the motive? Mutula Magala, you know, he, he said why he was, uh, he did it. He said it because we bombed the Yemen two weeks ago. That was his motive. Osama bin Laden said that he has a plan for America. First, he wants to bog us down in the Middle East in a no-win war. He wants to bankrupt this country, demoralize us, as well as have us do things that motivate people to join his radical movement. It seems like we have fallen into his trap. And if we only, you know, why is it off base? Today, when the gentleman indicated that he, he, um, uh, that he did it because of the bombing, you know what the administration said? He dis they dismissed it. It can't possibly be so. If you dismiss, dismiss motivations for why they hate us, we can never resolve this. There's hate on both right. sides, but you have to ask the question, why do they hate? And, and they usually come up with a reason, and, and we're foolish not to take that into consideration. Ben? Well, that's, ben. I've never heard anything yeah. quite like that in my whole life. What he's saying basically is we are doing something wrong by defending ourselves. <laughs> Look, if these terrorists are trying to kill the government of Yemen, we've got to help defend them. They're our friends. We can't just let Al-Qaeda run wild if we Why? try to stop them. That's not sufficient provocation. Why should we stop them? Why? Because they're terrorists and murderers, and they're very anti-American. Why are Why they terrorists? Why should we stop terrorists and murderers? Well, Surely, Larry... Congressman, you... What do you think they're Why are they terrorists? They're terrorists and murderers because they're psychos. They're terrorists and murderers they're terrorists they're because we're Same occupiers. All terrorists and murderers. But, but we, no, 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 we're see, not occupiers. Why, that's the same we'll anti-Semitic argument we've heard over and over again. No, that's oh, the same anti-Semitic argument we've heard over and over and over again. That is a vicious attack. Look, Larry, I'd like to... One at a time, guys. That is not a vicious attack. That is, Larry, I'd like to... You want to respond to some of these points that we made. All right, let's go back to the field. We don't even need to get into that. That Jill, is terrible. You need to get into that. Yeah. This guy was walking I, I think on. I can uh, this referee. Was, this guy was walking on. You discredited yourself. I think I can referee between the congressman and Ben. Look at this, this is a, Two this Republicans was, going at it. This is fascinating. Dan, With a Democratic in liberal in the middle this, looking this, aghast. This, this I can referee the between the two of them. I've heard over and over again from you know, this is why let me just say that this guy walked on an airplane with this guy. Uh, let me referee, to please. A All right, <laughs> Sheila, say something. All right. Yeah, let me referee, right. please. Um, Go ahead. All that right. is that is right. interesting Both to see have two good Republicans. Points, right. Well, they they have good points, but let me clarify and, and try to um, say oh, that Congressman Paul, Congressman Paul has Go a ahead. point uh, on our positions that we took in Iraq, uh, which obviously created a, a a very terrible atmosphere, and and we all asked the question, what were the results? And, of course, Afghanistan is still a question, but we must be reminded uh, that the terrorists acted under President Bush's clock. And so this can't be an issue of a president's inactivity, per se, and lack of commitment to the homeland. But we have to do better. And I believe we need to have behavioral assessment. There was no reason for this individual to have a visa uh, that still was in place until 2010 for them to be able to travel. There was no reason for him not to be detected because of his yep. behavior, behavioral assessment. We need to make the homeland security of the nation focus. Secretary of Homeland Security should be the point person, and that person should establish a road map that then allows us to fund right. and to put resources right. accordingly. And finally, guys, the president should time. put in place the PSA administrator by Your way of a recess appointment. Larry. Death, taxes, and these three are going to be back tomorrow. It's time now for Eric.